Hello, welcome. In this video, we are looking at how we can install Code Igniter to our local machine. These are the things we are going to cover. We are trying to download and install Code Igniter to our local machine. And we try to identify some of the important folders available in Code Igniter. Before that, you need to have a PHP development setup running on your local machine. So if you are on Windows, I recommend using WAMP server. If you are on OS X, you can use MAMP. If you are on Linux, you can use LAMP server. So I have given the links at the bottom of this video. You can uh, look at the, the website and uh, follow their guidelines to download and install those development setup. Okay, that's it. Let's uh, try to install it on my local machine, Code Igniter. So this I have on Windows and I started my WAMP server. I was there. So now I need to download Code Igniter. So I go to the internet and say download Code Igniter. So it will give me a link like this. You can click on that one. So you can always go to their website too. And it gives me the, the downloads page and you can download the current version. I recommend using download the current version. So you can always look at the older versions here, but I recommend downloading this current version. So you can click and download it. Actually, I have already downloaded things um later, later time. So I go to my downloads folder directly. So go to my computer. I go to my downloads, so this is there. I have the, uh, the code igniter download. So I try to extract this one. So I try to extract it here. Okay, it's giving me some time around 3 MB. This might take some time. Okay, that's it. Okay, before that, so this is my VAM service running. So I'm trying to install this code igniter into my VAM. Um, actually, okay, I've got it's my VAMP service stored uh, located here. My well, C VAMP and www folder. So I'm create I'm creating here the folder called CI. Okay, and then I try to install uh, Code Ignite in this CI folder. Okay, you can always install into the root, but I'm trying to in this case trying to install in the CI folder. So you can again go to my downloads folder. Actually, we have extracted that one. It's there and you can go there and you can see there are a couple of folders and files available you can copy these things like this and you can go to the, the place you want to install it in this case in my www directory inside vamp and i want to install it to ci folder so i paste it okay so it takes some time just wait it okay let's see okay okay good Okay. Now let's see. Try this on my web browser. Okay. I got my this local loss. Now go to slash ci. You can see now if you have installed Code Igniter correctly, so that page will be pop out. So in this case, we have successfully installed Code Igniter, and we're done with that one. Before that, I'll show you some of the important folders available in Code Igniter. So if you go to Code Igniter installation, so this is a system folder. System folder is the all the there are system exes. And you're not gonna touch that unless if you really really need it. So, so you need to worry about this folder. And system application is the folder you are mostly working on. You create files there, you do things, you change things. So you always try to work with the application directly. And the user guide is a place you can read the documentation about how we can do things with Code Ignite. So I guide through the basic concept. If you're familiar with those things, you can directly go to the user guide and read the manual and get familiar with it. So those are the main things you need to worry about. And that's it. Okay. So let's see on the next video. Thank you.